In the early 20th century, diabetes brought almost certain death. Patients lost weight rapidly, suffered extreme thirst, and eventually slipped into fatal comas. Treatments were limited to starvation diets that only prolonged life briefly. The medical world searched for a breakthrough, yet the pancreas remained difficult to study because it released its substances in complex ways. In 1921, Canadian surgeon Frederick Banting explored previous research about the pancreas. Scientists already suspected that the organ released something that controlled blood sugar, but no one had successfully isolated it. Banting believed that if he prevented the pancreas from breaking down its own internal secretions, the surviving tissue might reveal the missing substance. At the University of Toronto, Banting received permission to attempt his approach. He worked with medical student Charles Best, and together they began experiments on dogs. Their method involved tying off the pancreatic ducts. The external cells of the pancreas died, but the internal clusters known as the islets remained intact. When the remaining tissue was extracted, it contained a substance that lowered blood sugar in diabetic animals. The discovery progressed unexpectedly when one of their experiments produced an unusually pure extract. Instead of acting weakly, it sharply lowered glucose with remarkable consistency. This shift happened because the damaged pancreas inadvertently allowed the islets to stand out more clearly, giving them a cleaner sample than they originally intended. Their accidental refinement helped push the research forward faster than planned. They named the substance insulin. More purification work followed under biochemist James Collip, who improved the extract to make it safe for human use. In January 1922, a young diabetic patient named Leonard Thompson received the first treatment. His initial injection was not effective because impurities caused irritation. Collip then refined the extract again and the second injection successfully lowered Thompson's blood sugar and improved his condition dramatically. News of the treatment spread quickly. Patients who had been days or weeks from death gained strength, weight, and energy. Hospital wards once filled with hopeless cases now held people recovering after years of decline. Insulin transformed diabetes from a fatal disease into a manageable condition. The discovery happened through determination, experimentation, and fortunate mistakes in timing, purity, and technique. What began as a risky idea led to one of the most important medical advances in history. Insulin became a global life-saving therapy, giving millions of people a future that did not exist before Banting, Best, Collip, and their unplanned breakthrough changed medicine forever.